from Boston, Massachusetts. It's theCUBE, covering HPE Big Data Conference 2016. Now, here are your hosts, Dave Vellante and Paul Gillen. Welcome back to Boston, everybody. This is the HPE Big Data Conference, hashtag Seize the Data, and this is theCUBE, the worldwide leader in live tech coverage. Mohan Vedicera is here, and he is a BI architect and Vertica database administrator at Eliza Corp. Out of the Boston area, Peabody, Mass. Mohan, welcome to theCUBE, good to see you. Good to be here. Thanks very much for coming on. So, uh, this is your second big data conference. Right. What do you think of the event? Are you learning things? Are you excited about you know, your this peers' discussions? What do you, what's your take? Right, so it's great to be here because uh, the technology has been changing rapidly and even the Vertica is adding stuff you know, pretty rapidly. So it's good to be here to learn all the new stuff that they're presenting. And uh, I'm excited to be here. I was here last year too. Uh, again, it's pretty rapid change of the uh, product itself and the, the addition things, the way they're adding things is pretty good. And we want to take advantage of all the uh, uh, abilities that they provide in the product. So uh, that's, that's the main reason that brings me here. And uh, we are six people, uh, seven people here oh, wow. from Eliza. The team. So when you say changes, you mean things they've introduced in 8.0 or is it cloud? Is it, what are the things that are changing that are Right. Uh, most significant. When when we started uh, uh, Vertica, using Vertica, most of the customers which we talked to are having Vertica database on prem. But the, uh, we started Vertica directly on AWS Cloud, uh, which is Amazon uh, Web Services uh, products. And uh, uh, you know, the primary thing we want to know here is how uh, Vertica is doing things on AWS because it's a pretty new market. Uh, for Vertica, again, I heard uh, from a lot of customers it's on-prem thing because it uses magnetic hard drives uh, to store data sequentially uh, for for performance and things. Uh, to answer your question, uh, uh, we have been learning a lot uh, from Vertica in this conference about how they are doing things on cloud. That's pretty good because we can take advantage of uh, 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 AWS snapshots, which is a cheaper way of storage uh, on uh, S3 as a backup. Rather, you spin up uh, one more AWS uh, 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 Vertica cluster and load simultaneously for backup and recovery things. So t tell us, uh, I should have started here, tell us about Eliza, what, what the company does, some of the sort of key drivers that are driving IT. Sure, uh, Eliza is a health uh, engagement management company. We have 100 plus customers. Uh, most of them are uh, uh, healthcare and pharmacy uh, custom customers. Uh, our primary goal is basically to reach the member uh, in the right time via right channel. We have a multi-channel, like you know, we do reach members through uh, IVR, which is phone, uh, email, as well as uh, text. Okay. So I, I would be a, a customer of my health plan and the health plan might, would contract with you to manage communications with me? Is that what you're saying? Yes, more or less. Like, you know, we, I, right. So we get, a, a, we get data from our healthcare customers. If you are one of those customers, uh, an individual, we get your data and then we'll reach you on their behalf. Uh, for example, if it is a flu season, we probably call you. Uh, Go get a flu shot. You know the your area mm -hmm. has been ha reported. You know uh, too many flu cases. So it's we we basically engage you and we capture your data and we'll study you down the road in order to reach you uh, in a right time or right manner because we have multi-channel thing. Maybe you uh, when we talk to you we capture things. Uh, uh, what is your mode of preferred communication? If you say mm -hmm. email, mm -hmm. then we don't call you. We text you or we email you and if you the same thing for text too if you prefer to communicate through a phone we'll text you mm -hmm. okay so your story your AWS customer 
Right. You're using AWS, using Redshift. You started with Vertica in 2014. Late 2014. Oh, late, right. late, so really 2015 yeah. you started. Well, yes. Okay, I mean, for real, right? I mean, oh, really okay. getting up there. Well, right? How about this last quarter of 2014? You were sort of crawling and then jogging, and then now you're probably sprinting. <laughs> yes, sprinting. <laughs> okay. Right. So, and the, the one, part of the story is you moved data from Redshift into into Vertica. Is that right? Are you constantly doing that? Or we are describe what you're. Paint a picture for us, if you Sure. Uh, basically, before even AWS, we were mostly SQL Server uh, shop. We, our transactional system on DDW was on SQL Server. But data was growing rapidly, and uh, we want to take advantage of AWS because most of the things that AWS provides is a service, so we don't need any maintenance. We basically single clicks, double clicks, and then boom, you got the service up and running. So we started uh, revamping, moving the whole thing, uh, whole architecture to cloud. So our, before then, we, have, we had a, a SQL Server as transactional system and also EDW as a, a SQL Server as a, a tra EDW too. So we moved to AWS uh, using DynamoDB as a transactional system and uh, Redshift as a EDW. So we moved everything to uh, Redshift uh, in AWS. Then, uh, then, we, then we had to buy Vertica for some other reasons, meaning uh, uh, we want to do more uh, uh, statistical analysis on the data, and uh, we have a data science team and SaaS integration things with uh, Vertica. So we, we came to know that Vertica is a pretty good tool or product, data warehouse to, uh, oh no, database to use uh, all these things. So to answer your question, so again, uh, uh, we, we, we stood up uh, a Vertica to load uh, partial data from EDW, which is Redshift, for analysis uh, as a data mod. So we re currently we are using uh, uh, Vertica as a data mod and uh, Redshift as a EDW. Oh, okay. So that's a sort of an ongoing, that's the infrastructure of choice, and DynamoDB right. is, a transactional system. is still the transactional right. system. I see, okay, and so you designed the, and architected the ETL from Redshift into Vertica, which is an ongoing right. process now. Right. Okay, right. and, and you, the, why Vertica? I mean, why, why did you, um, what, what was the you know, business case for moving there in the first place, what problem were you trying to solve? Sure, uh, in Redshift we have uh, something called uh, uh, hash map and distributed key thing, but uh, in Vertica we have this uh, uh, segmentation and uh, 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 live aggregate projections thing. So the li live aggregate projection is uh, the primary reason, uh, well I wouldn't say primary reason, it's one of the primary reasons uh, to, uh, to use uh, uh, Vertica as a data mart because uh, uh, when you use for live aggregate projections, all the data when you load real time will be aggregated for you. So, uh, one example I would give you is uh, we have all the data in uh, Redshift in the first place. So when we moved, or when we well, it's a continuous process of moving of data from Redshift to Vertica, right? So as on the fly, uh, more not most there are few few parts of the data in Redshift we have as key value pairs. So in order to get the key value pairs into columnar format, uh, we take advantage of live aggregate projections. So uh, when we load the data from Redshift to Vertica on the fly, uh, it creates the live aggregate projection and then we, we create uh, other tables that consumes this data uh, that were uh, converted to uh, columnar uh, structure on the fly. That's one of the reasons. And the second reason uh, uh, for Vertica is uh, uh, basically a SaaS integration. We have, uh, uh, we have our uh, uh, SaaS and our team working uh, on the, uh, all the data from different clients. What I mean by that is um, previously we were uh, getting data from customers, uh, when I say our customers are healthcare and pharmacy customers, for, to reach particular people uh, on a daily basis. But uh, lately, we made a deal with those healthcare companies. Where rather, you give us members, you give all the data you have, which is pharmacy, enrollment, and claims data. 
we do processing for you, meaning we dig all the people, we study each and every person, we study their behavior, and then we make sure uh, who to call and what are the programs they should enroll. So that's where the Vertica has been playing a major role for our data, uh, data science team as well as uh, our people using SAS. So that's a service that you provide for your customers. So right. You said pharmacy, and healthcare the, the enrollment companies, and the, right. and, the, and the claims data. Right. So you ingest that, do the analysis, and then provide the recommendations back? We provide recommendation back, as well as we, we flag the people, who should we call? We have, uh, uh, we are a health engagement management company, right? So we have our uh, patented speech recognition system. So we flag the people who, uh, who, uh, who are, uh, we have something called vulnerability index, right? For example, if you're a, a 30 years male, no kids, uh, you're, you know, you don't have health risks. But, you know, like if you, uh, if you're healthy, well, if you're, if you're 30 years male with uh, uh, three, four kids, and then you have uh, a mortgage, and we, we reach people differently because we ask different kind of questions because you're healthy, you, your lifestyle is a little different when compared to uh, who's single, right? So we, f we, flat, we consider all those factors using our analytical team and then, and then reach the people. You must have had some data quality challenges. Um, of course, we... Continue to, I wonder if you could discuss that a little bit. Right, uh, we have like three, four, we have three channels in the first place. Like we do receive uh, data through email, phone, as well as text, right? That's, as we receive the data from three channels, that's the first place where we need to uh, find out uh, uh, what would be the standardized data to ingest down the stream, right? That's, that's one of the uh, problems we have because uh, all, most of the questions, most of the data we reach out, most of the data we collect after we reach out the people may not be in a similar format. We have uh, different programs and different channels, so all the data would be uh, in, in different aspects, right? So that's, uh, that, that's one thing uh, to, to consider when we load the data through, uh, uh, through all the ETL process to Redshift or Vertica. That's, uh, that's one thing. And the data quality is we, uh, even though we have uh, uh, all the question codes in our control, we have some departments called interaction design department. Uh, when we reach uh, a, when we reach a person uh, in program A, age, well, age is a simple example. For example, uh, age is a simple thing. Uh, in other words, if you if you want to use the question code as a, a uh, when do you get the flu shot, right? So for program A, we do like a flu. Some other program, we do flu shot. So even the flu and flu shot are the same thing. When we ingest the data, we treat it as two different question codes. Right. That's when we do analytics. We have to consider flu as well as flu shot when we do analysis, right? That's one of the biggest uh, 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 data quality issues we have. And uh, most of the most of the times the ETL we build uh, are most of the, yeah sorry most of the times the ETL we build will be uh, making sure the flu and flu shot are the same, but there are a few. But and so you rationalize that with just general uh, just corporate knowledge. You know, sometimes it's called tribal knowledge. It's just you have to remember to do that, or do you have a way to? Sort of automate that, that categorization and flag those sort of data quality issues. Can you automate any of that? Or is it more just, we need <laughs> Mohan who knows how to do it well, to handle this problem? We can't automate these things because it's a team collaboration. Like mm -hmm. we have three, four departments inside the company. So uh, the department, uh, interaction design department deals with the, what are the question codes we use for these programs, right? Uh, but uh, analysis team doesn't involve with interaction team because an analysis team is the last part of the puzzle, right? The interaction design team is a team that uh, uh, designs the question codes. So we have to co coordinate with the, all the departments, which, uh, which is not an easy uh, thing for each and every question code, uh, but we have to make sure uh, 
in the previous example, flu and flu shot are the same, right? So uh, we we have to basically we have to basically implement all the data quality rules while ingestion. Mm. Okay, last question. Things you're excited about, things you're working on that are, you know, have you, you know, passionate? Yes, we have been working on lately the member matching stuff. So in this, uh, 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 in this whole data mart and data uh, enterprise thing, mm -hmm. we want uh, uh, we want to identify all the members. Uh, we want to identify uh, uh, how many Mohans we have. Basically, the Mohan can come from different customers, right? Yeah. So from customer one, we have a probably a different MRN. From customer view, we have different member number. Mm -hmm. So we, our company is basically building statistical analysis and algorithm, neural network things to identify uh, the Mohan is same. So that's one exciting thing to, <laughs> to work on. And uh, the passion things are, again, we, we want to, we want to take advantage of this Hadoop cluster on EMR mm -hmm. uh, to find out how Vertica can integrate with the HDFS system. Again, the, again, that's not passion, it's basically. Yeah, but uh, fun, right, new right. stuff. Right? Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Mohan, really appreciate you coming on, talking about how you're solving some of these gnarly problems, and, uh, and best of luck. Uh, thank you. All right, take care. Thanks, take care. All right, keep it right there. Paul and I will be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE, we're live from Boston, Massachusetts. Right back. <laughs>